on your Tesla. So we got one last topic, uh, just a little story. I thought it'd be fun. Uh, we actually drove, test drove a Mercedes EQS and EQS SUV today. And I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. And of course I showed it really briefly on why we went to go test drive because I've been hearing and I've been seeing some really good deals out there. So, so we'll talk about it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best thing on Tesla with the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested and so let us get into this so this is where it all started right of course zach black model 3 on twitter posted this the other day and where he helped his father or his dad pick up an eqs 450 plus and so you know i've always liked the look of the eqs i like the interior technology and things like that and so i asked him what was the payment and he said down here 780 dollars a month plus tax so that looks interesting, right? I mean, I feel like that looks interesting to a lot of people, especially because this is a, what, $100,000 vehicle, if not $100,000 vehicle plus, and it also has two years of free charging. And so, I mean, granted, you know, we are a Tesla fan. I, I am a Tesla fan. I like Teslas. I've had four Teslas so far, Model 3, Model Y, S, and now the Model X. I don't think I'm going to sell the X for a while, but, uh, you know, you got to keep your eyes out there, right? See what deals are actually still good out there. And when I see a $700 payment on a $100,000 vehicle, uh, I, I get curious, right? Especially when it has two years of free or two or three years of free charging. And so what if you, I don't know if you've seen videos of the interior of these types of vehicles but that screen looks very very nice right but i'll tell you when i got into it uh it got it, it wasn't it was my i guess my expectations were a little higher and it came down a little bit but i'll tell you i'll show you why we actually got into uh, why we went to go test drive right because look at these incentives we got seven thousand five hundred lease bonus cash we've got twenty five hundred electric re rebate we got fifteen hundred dollars in conquest cash and of course two years of free charging and free prepaid maintenance so of course this they use all these incentives back to back to back to get down to a payment of seven hundred and eighty dollars a month but when we drove it, I I was less than interested, I guess. When I got into it, it wasn't as I was expecting. It kind of felt a little... It's a weird thing to say a Mercedes is cheap, I guess, but I was not actually impressed. I was actually more impressed about the EQS sedan than the EQS SUV, but uh, it kind of just was meth to me at the end of the day. So, but maybe I just concluded that I'm not necessarily a Mercedes-Benz fan uh, because, you know, I've driven a lot of BMWs in the past, and I guess the interior just did not jive with me at the end of the day. The, the tilt of some of these screens on the EQS SUV was a little bit off-putting, and I think the sedan, if I had to buy one, if I had to choose one between the two, I would say the sedan was a little bit nicer uh, at the end of the day. But of course, the dealer we were at did not pencil the deal at $780 a month or did not give us a first payment of $780 a month. They tried and come at like $1,200 with like 10 grand down. So we, it didn't make any sense at the end of the day. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. You know, that, those are kind of my thoughts on the EQS. And so definitely check it out if you're interested. It still could be, you know, definitely uh, certainly an interesting vehicle for some people but I guess I concluded that it is not for me at the end of the day. But then I saw this. I saw this from Holmar's blog catalog. This, is, of course, is the new Porsche Cayenne interior that is not EV at the moment, I don't think. But taking a look at this, I, I, I mean, I guess I just like this connected screen look between the driver, the middle, and the passenger side. And uh, because maybe because we are used to the Tesla, where it's just one iPad in the middle of the vehicle. And so it's just different, I guess. We, we just want what we can't have. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Let me know what your thoughts on it. Uh, we're going to jump into the live stream comments to round out the stream. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link, so definitely check it out. Link down below.